Well, he was an All-American in Boulder and helped see you win a national championship, winning the Butkus Award, becoming a first-round draft pick. Well, then, after enduring life as a Cincinnati Bengal, he came back to Colorado and was part of two Super Bowl championships with the Denver Broncos. He's been retired from football for 20 years now, but Alfred Williams has remained a big part of sports in Colorado, becoming one of the area's favorite voices on radio. Well, today, one of the worst kept secrets in town is no longer a secret. Alfred Williams is moving to KOA Radio. The big show will be hitting the air this coming Tuesday. Alfred Williams, kind enough to join us. Uh, this must be exciting for you, but it, it's... Uh, it's been a while you've been off the air. Yeah, it's been uh, six months and it's been uh, time that I've had to uh, really enjoy my uh, enjoy my mother. She passed away while going through that time period. So I got a chance to really enjoy her uh, and, of course, reconnect with my brothers and, and, and make sure that the family was solid. Well, it's nice that you'll be starting back up on Tuesday. I want to start before we go forward and ask you about going back because you you and DMAC had such a good relationship and it was it worked on the air so well. Was it hard to leave? Was it hard for him to see you go as well? Absolutely. It was, um, it was, it was something that I didn't see happening uh, because of the way the contracts worked. You know, it just happened to be that we didn't have the same timing for us to depart at the same time. Uh, you know, and, and a lot of it had to do with um, management and where management was going with the last station. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm over at KOA because it's a, a fresh group of guys who have good ideas about how to make good radio. I called it the big show, but it's not the big <laughs> show anymore, is it? Now, now no, we have a new show. It's called? It's Big Al and, and JoJo. So it's Big Al and JoJo, and uh, we're looking forward to it. It's just, it's just something that uh, I've just loved. You know, I know people remember my days from playing football, but really this, this radio business has been great to me and my family. I love it. I absolutely get up in the morning looking forward to my time with the people of Colorado every single day. People love your honesty. It comes through the radio very clearly. They know you're always telling them what you think. You're at the home of the Buffs and the Broncos now. Is that is that maybe going to curtail some of your honesty if you see something you don't like from the Buffs or the Broncos? Truth is the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you Tom, I can't that. do anything about the truth. The truth is the truth and I just tell uh, the truth as I see it in a delightful way. I try to make, uh, I try to make uh, everybody who's in the car drive home a little easier, mm -hmm. which I think is important when you are dealing with some of this new traffic. Like I, haven't, <laughs> I didn't know anything about the traffic while I was doing the show because I was on from three to six, so I was already where I was going. But here of late, you know, having to be on the road during that time period, I just wanted to make sure uh, that I got home people, uh, got people home safely. And I, now I know what it's like to be in traffic here in Colorado. It, this, this community is growing. Off the air for six months, you might have some pent up opinions about things. The Rockies, I mean, what a season. It went from everything's okay to everything was terrible. Yeah, and uh, you know, one of, the, one of the big moments of last year was, uh, you know, can the Colorado Rockies, can, can they get over the hump? Right. Can they finally win a division? And it's gone to can we win a division? Can we win a series? Can we win against the big boys? You know, right. the, what the Red Sox did to us last night, you know, was not pretty. It wasn't fun. And uh, it just, it, it kind of highlights how a guy like, uh, like Charlie Blackman, uh, you know, cannot, you, you say it, it's not that big of a deal, but then you wonder how big of a deal was it when you start talking about the mix of the team and how it works and how does everything pull together. This Colorado Rockies team is, it, 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 it's, a, it's a head scratcher because it felt like that we were right on the cusp of doing something big. Well, now those fans can vent to you every <laughs> afternoon. Uh, starting on Tuesday, the day after Labor Day, uh, Big Al and JoJo, it's great to see you again. My man. Good luck with your new deal. All right, Tom. All right, Alfred. We'll be right back.